Save the Green Planet. Korean title, Jigaluljikiola Jigaluljikiora, is a South Korean film, written and directed by Jang Joon Hwan, released on 4 April 2003. The movie mixes elements of multiple genres, including comedy, science fiction, horror and thriller. The basic story begins when the main character, Lee Byong-gu, kidnaps another man, convinced that the latter is an alien. Plot The film's main character is Byong Gu, a man who believes that aliens from Andromeda are about to attack Earth and that he is the only one who can prevent them. With his childlike circus performer girlfriend, he kidnaps a powerful pharmaceutical executive whom he believes to be a top ranking extraterrestrial able to contact the Andromedan prince during the upcoming eclipse. After imprisoning the man in his basement workshop, Byong Gu proceeds to torture him. It soon appears that the executive's company poisoned Byong Gu's mother in a pharmaceuticals test, and that it is vengeance fueled psychosis that causes Byong Gu to believe the executive is an alien. When a detective comes calling to investigate the disappearance, the executive tries to escape but is thwarted by the psychotic Byong Gu. The detective at first finds nothing unusual but on his way out sees Byong Gu's dog appropriately named Earth gnawing on the bones of his master's past victims. After contacting a partner in the police force he is killed by Byong Gu's bees, is hacked up and fed to the dog. Byong Gu then crucifies the executive and breaks his leg with the back of his axe, to punish him for his attempted escape. In a desperate move, the executive convinces Byong Gu that the bottle of benzene in his car trunk is the antidote for his comatose mother. As Byong Gu races to the hospital to deliver the antidote, the executive frees himself by pulling his hands through the nails. He then travels deeper into his captor's lair, finding evidence of his grim research. Photos of mutilated corpses are littered with blood-scrawled notebooks, while hands and brains of past subjects reside in jars. Reading through the journals the executive discovers Byong Gu's traumatic past, his father was a coal miner who lost one of his arms due to his dangerous work and was killed by his wife when he attempted to attack her and his son. The child was beaten in school and was a victim of the sadistic whims of his cruel teachers. He showed early signs of violence, such as stabbing a fellow schoolmate with a kitchen knife. His mother was then poisoned in the aforementioned incident and at a protest his former girlfriend was beaten to death. He slowly went mad from the violence that surrounded him. As this is happening, the dead detective's partner arrives and finds the frantic executive. And Byong Gu, after desperately rushing to the hospital to give the antidote to his comatose mother, killing her, becomes ever more enraged. He returns home to kill the alien, only to find the detective there as well. After a brief struggle and a bizarre turn of events, he captures both of them and plans on killing them both. The frantic executive then admits to being an alien and proceeds to spin an outlandish tale which stretches back to the time of the dinosaurs, about how his race was originally trying to save humanity by experimenting on the genetic code of his mother. He also agrees, in what appears to be a time-buying move, to contact the alien prince at the pharmaceutical company factory. Byong Gu leaves the detective all his notes, saying that if he does not make it, he will have the responsibility of saving the planet. At the factory, the executive triggers a computer controlled robotic arm to kill Byong Gu's girlfriend, and after a long struggle, he beats his captor almost to death. When the police arrive, they shoot Byong Gu, and as he bleeds to death, he wonders aloud, Now who will save the Earth? When the aliens do arrive and beam up the executive aboard their ship, we learn he is in fact the alien king himself. Disgusted and angered by the torture and corruption and evils of the world, he deems Earth a failed experiment and blasts it from creation. 
As the credits roll still photographs recap the entire journey of Byong Gu's life, focusing instead on the beautiful, happy moments of a young boy and man with his father and mother and girlfriend. Cast Production Jang first conceived of the idea for Save the Green Planet, while watching the film Misery. He enjoyed it, but was disappointed with the lack of depth of the Annie Wilkes character, and accordingly decided that if he made a film about a kidnapping, it would be staged from the point of view of the kidnapper. Later, Jang stumbled across a crank website accusing actor Leonardo DiCaprio of being an alien who wanted to conquer Earth by seducing all of its women, and he decided to combine the two concepts. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations Blue Dragon Film Awards Best Supporting Actor, Bak Yoon Sik Best New Director, Jang Joon Hwan Brussels International Fantastic Film Festival Golden Raven Award Buenos Aires International Festival of Independent Cinema Best Actress, Hwang Jeng Min ADF Cinematography Award Directors Cut Awards Best New Director, Jang Joon Hwang Grand Bell Awards Best Supporting Actor, Bak Yoon Sik Best New Director, Jang Joon Hwan Best Sound Korean Film Awards Best Supporting Actor, Bak Yoon Sik Best New Director, Jang Joon Hwan 25th Moscow International Film Festival nomination, Golden St. George Silver St. George Pushon International Fantastic Film Festival Best of Pushon Pusan Film Critics Awards Best Film Best Actor, Shin Ha Kyun Best New Director, Jang Joon Wayne International Film Festival Rotterdam KNF Award Special Mention Notes External links Save the Green Planet, on IMDb Shannon, Jeff. The 5th of August 2005. War of the Worlds. Inside His Head. Movie Review. The Seattle Times. Retrieved the 10th of October 2007.